It is the morning of opening. Taco is still asleep. And the lights... Ed is still asleep. Ed is still asleep. We have Rex here. Rex is in a bin back there because the glass worked out. And now we're just... Yeah, good enough. Uh, yeah, it's stuck well enough for Nobody's opening. Nobody's ever going to notice it. Yeah, we've been having the worst time getting these columns to stick because it's such a taut material that wants to keep popping out. This has been like a week-long project because we couldn't find anything to hold these down. We tried silicone, tried Gorilla Glue, tried hot glue, we tried epoxy, which worked! Okay, phew! That's one thing off our list. Look, I found a friend. Now we have like 15 more things to do, including feed a cricket to someone. Well, he's my friend Roger. Oh, hi Roger. Roger can live with some lizards. Yeah. Okay, we have an hour until opening, so I'm frantically changing waters, making sure everyone looks good. And our employees are amazing because they got me coffee. Well, we don't deserve our employees. They're amazing. Oh, okay, I can't film much right now though because I have so much to do. Yeah, they don't love you as much, Ed. Oh, they're awesome. Okay, we've got three minutes until opening. That kind of stuck. Good enough, okay. You gotta take all these off. Thankfully that worked. Turtle tank is good. Okay, turtles, have fun. Behave. Don't bite fingers. Ah. Okay, it is noon 15 and we are open. Oh my god. Our zoo is officially open. Hi everyone! Hi. Thank you for coming! Oh my gosh, it's just starting to fill in. Oh my goodness. Hey Link! Hi. Oh, people are here. This is amazing. Here's my lovely mom who is helping out with a blue tongue skink. This is actually our friend's blue tongue who we've been watching for the last uh, eight months or so. She's still with us and she's an ambassador animal now. Do you need any facts on her to share with people? No, nope, not at all, but her name is Oprah Skink Free. Yes, told. yep, that is her name. <laughs> Okay, this is adorable. A regular customer of ours, Nick, had his birthday party for his bearded dragon named Draco, and he made a bearded dragon friendly cake. However, Draco was only big enough to eat one piece, and they wanted to share the cake with our bearded dragons here at the shop. So thank you, Nick and Draco, for sharing the cake. I'm going to give a piece to all of our bearded dragons today, and I'm sure they're gonna love it. Here are the goodie bags for Patreon backers in our Patreon lounge. They are specially made snake discovery M&Ms and some merch stickers. And we've also got in the Patreon lounge snake discovery guess who which an amazing fan sent and people have been playing that. We've got some reptile books. There's some snacks over here, and we have the chameleon puzzle from the build-off. I'm curious on if anyone's gonna play. Oh, there's the piece that Tyler broke. Curious on uh, if people are gonna put that together and how it goes. All right, everyone, do you remember this package from a long time ago? This says, enclosed is for opening day of your facility. One for Emily, one for Ed, one for a trusted advisor slash first employee. Huh. And in the meantime, enjoy some snacks. So they sent some snacks too, but we have been hanging on to this for a year. Six months to a year. I don't even know exactly yeah. how long. It's been in a special drawer and now we can finally open it since it's grand opening. Somebody go back in the videos and figure out when that was. Yeah, I don't know how long we've had this for, but it's been a long time and we've been itching and people have been placing bets as to what's inside. I honestly don't know. I don't even remember who it's from. It doesn't say on there. It doesn't it? say who it's from. Oh, that is cool. That's cool. Wow. Ooh. They're snake discovery colors. They're like... I want this one. Um, I'll take... I like this one. So what I think this is, is a keychain. So I have one that's Cheyenne colors that another fan oh, sent. Nice. And basically it makes it so it's easier for me to find my keys in my purse. Oh. I just feel around for this and then I pull them out. I think that's what this is. I could be wrong, oh, but now you'll have one yeah. and I'll have a snake discovery one for my keychain. So I just, I could find either one of these in my hip bag and then I can find my keys more easier. Then we can put that on Cheyenne's leg and find her really easily. Oh yeah, perfect. Then we can find Cheyenne. Thank you so much for these. Look, I did it. 
I did too. It's now on the mini lanyard. Aw, thank you Stormy from the subway down the road for the cookie tray and the party platter for grand opening. You're amazing. All right, it's lunchtime. We're uh, taking a break and we're all just sitting on the floor here. <laughs> Ed, do you want to join us on the floor? No, nope. I'll fall asleep if I sit. Oh yeah, we can't have you falling asleep yeah. today. Yeah. Well, you stand and enjoy a break. Okay. And also, naughty animal of the day was Cheyenne, apparently. Look yeah. at that. Well, it's 10, and all the lights are off. Oh, and I'm home. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Cheyenne doesn't look tired. Yeah, she took the whole day off like a true boss. Yeah, she met like three people, got cranky, and then went back to her office <laughs> like sounds, a boss. Sounds like a boss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we are exhausted, but today was a blast. We had about 250 people through the doors into the zoo. Yeah, and this is what we feel is going to be the light day. I think Look, so. The yeah. green trees are waking up. Oh, green tree play guys. Aw, hey little dude. I hope Rex comes out of her shell tomorrow because she has refused to leave the corner all oh, yeah. day today. But we're going to go home and sleep for a couple hours. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it's 10. We gotta be back here by, I'm not coming back here till the employees are here. They start work at 11, so let's get here at 10.55, yeah. and then just say we got here at 8. That sounds reasonable. I all see right. her tail still yeah, back she there. she hasn't moved at all. Yeah, she's a little upsetty spaghetti at us. So we'll come back tomorrow and see where Rex is at. I really hope she's in her pool, because I think she's gonna love her pool. She's just too scared to explore yet. Yeah, I think she's, it's just a little too much. Yep. So, all right, I'm gonna shut off and say goodnight to the zoo. Good night, Zoo. Good night, animals and Zoo. See you tomorrow. Oh my gosh! Look, you can see wherever I go. Your shirt is glowing in the dark! Well, I'm gonna run into stuff because it's really dark. That's awesome, there he goes. That is really cool. Ed disappears off in the distance. Well, we finished our first day. Our zoo is open. <laughs> Did you just pause putting dressing on your no, salad? No, I don't know what you're talking about. We're eating for the first time in a while. Thankfully, our wonderful, or my wonderful mother and father-in-laws have been cooking for us. I like us. how you paused over at my mom who's now squishing things in a... <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi. I was yeah, I'm filming. Video. I'm filming. Okay, well, thank you. I'm just gonna stop now. Okay. <laughs> Well, day two is off to an exciting start. Our Exoterra order decided to arrive this morning and it was five pallets worth of supplies an hour before we open. Thanks, thanks, this is great. It's okay, we'll get it stocked. On the plus side, we did need a lot of Exoterra stuff, so now we have it, awesome. Five minutes till we open. We've got most things stocked, but not cleaned, okay. Okay, we've got two minutes, so we're doing this. We're piling all of the garbage and recycling here for now, because there is no time to put it in the receptacles back there. There's a line, we're gonna open soon. Ah! I thought yesterday was chaos. Thankfully, Paul and everyone is here helping. Excited for the zoo, we got one minute left. by Cody with the Alchemist Circle. He usually makes gaming accessories like this dice box, which he also sent us. Look at that. That is awesome. There's even snakes on the outside. Aww. Cody is amazingly talented with wood and this is what he created for us. We commissioned him to make this for the zoo. Yeah, kids loved it. And as soon as we put it up, there was a swarm of kids around it. There's like a line to get to it. There was a line, yes. Yeah. So basically it's just your typical slide puzzle and uh, the staff's job and Ed and my, our job is to mess it all up. And then we come back half an hour and kids have solved it. It turned yeah. out even better than I He did I an thought. amazing job. Yeah. Yes, he said it was pretty difficult, but he did such a great job. <laughs> Even edit our logo. That is so cool. And the color of the frame here is amazing. I, we couldn't be happier. Yeah. Cody, thank you so much. 
please check out the Alchemist Circle online. It's alchemistcircle.com. Alchemistcircle.com slash shop. And you should definitely check him yeah. out. Especially if you're into any kind of gaming, that's a dice box. Yes. So. Check him out. Thank you, Cody. Here's another activity we incorporated into the zoo. This is a close-up eye challenge. So basically, you look at the picture and try to guess the species based on their eyeball. I'll give this one away here. It is a Lichianus gecko eye. And this puzzle was actually made, we commissioned Loon Garage Works right here in Minnesota to make this. And they even painted it snake discovery colors. They did, they did such a nice job. So I wonder if you can guess. I'm not gonna show you the answers, of course. You're gonna have to come here to find the answers. But those are all the pictures we currently have up in the comments. If you have guesses as to what they are, feel free to share. And then I think we're going to switch these up too so there's some new things happening. But yeah, I'm curious to see what people think of this puzzle. Is yours a black-tailed Kribo? No. Ah, oh, shoot! Okay. Is yours a Wombo Python? Yes, it is! Yes, nice! It is. Nice job! <laughs> and your shirt has, actually, one of the Easter eggs. Only a few of our merch shirts have a little extra S or Snake Discovery logo on it. So, you have an Easter egg on yours! Awesome! Oh, and yours has it too! Oh my gosh, another Easter egg. Whoever gets one of our merch shirts from the specialty merch link in the description, check it for an Easter egg. They could be on the inside or the outside. It's just a little bonus little mini sticker. Yeah, some of them have it. <laughs> oh look, someone solved the puzzle today. Really? Yeah, that's, that's cool. cool. Probably took a while for them to... What are you doing? I messed it up so the next person can solve it. Someone worked really hard to solve that, you know. And I'm working really hard to unsolve it for them. closing time on the last day of grand opening and I don't hear a whole lot of commotion up here which is kind of scary huh well Emily and Cheyenne died oh actually Cheyenne still looks alive come here yoink okay so Cheyenne made it Emily died oh Kim died oh no Haley's dead oh Abby's gone too oh wow this weekend really took it out of us well, I guess this is my channel now, and we're going to talk about green trees! Hooray! And how much better they are than emerald tree boas. Well, I guess that's it, guys. See you on the next video where I talk about green trees. Well, the weekend is over, and we had over 2,000 people in the zoo between Thursday and Sunday. It was crazy. Crazy. So I mean we we all survived. I know it kind of looked like we died there temporarily But we actually did come back to life. Yeah, I had to resurrect Emily. I don't think I can do the channel by, by myself Yeah, yeah, Ed decided that he couldn't do just a green tree python channel Yeah, we do in fact need other reptiles like PJ our Lichianus gecko who did a great job throughout He's the weekend gonna jump. I don't think she's gonna jump. She's kind of nestled in. Oh, okay. We had her out quite a bit, just kind of off and on throughout the weekend to show people uh, lychees and have them feel the texture of her scales because they feel so cool. Now she's gonna jump. Nope. And Getting into frog position. Frog Do pose. Do it. False alarm. Eh, it's all right. She'll jump at some time yeah. during this, probably. Probably, just when we least expect it. Yep. But we want to, first and foremost, thank everybody involved in this project, because we wouldn't have been able to get this done without our amazing friends and family members who spent countless hours with us here from demolishing the building. Go for it! Nice! Uh, Are you having fun, Dad? Absolutely. <laughs> Thanks for helping. Absolutely, honey. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh! <laughs> to rebuilding it and adding these enclosures, decking them out for reptiles, and 
Now we're here. Yeah. I can't Oh, it's like 99% of the way there. Yeah. We still need glass over there. But there's a lot of things that I notice and you notice that nobody else will notice. That's so. true. We have six enclosures. I think it's six that still need glass because of COVID delays. There's some material delays in like the hinges of the ones that are going to have swinging doors. So we don't have those yet, but uh, we're almost there anyway. Yeah. So thank you everybody for helping us. I would list off everybody's names, but there were so many people who helped that I would feel bad if I accidentally forgot a name or something, trying oh, yeah. to remember them all at Just once. Just go rewatch all the videos and see who helped. Yes. And we are forever grateful for everybody spending hours upon hours here helping us out. We'd also like to thank the amazing Patreon backers who have helped us out throughout the last almost two years now. Without your support, I don't know where we would be because when COVID hit three months after we bought this building, that could have been the end of this whole project. But because of the support that you all gave us, we were able to continue it and keep moving forward. And now we have a zoo. I still can't believe that. I, it just feels weird saying that we have a zoo, but. Also thanks to all all the people who are watching the video too because yes i mean it did help having the channel as well as the patreon absolutely you know. everyone watching our videos helps us out too you know that little like five second ad you watch at the beginning of a video that is what helped to make this possible as well because that's where our income comes from with the with the channel we'd also like to thank paul with custom reptile habitats who made so many trips up here from ohio to help us with the planning of the build the build itself giving us advice throughout the entire project and being an amazing consultant for everything and we'd like to thank Stuart and his amazing team from universal rocks for having some incredible products and turning this from what would have just been a reptile display room to an actual zoo so go check out Paul's website, customreptilehabitats.com, because he makes some incredibly high quality reptile enclosures, and Stuart at universalrocks.com, because he doesn't just make products for zoo builds, he makes products for the everyday reptile keepers enclosure too. Paul and Stuart were amazing to work with during this entire thing, and we learned some cool Australian phrases from them. Emily, we're nearly done. This is a rip snorter of a cave here. This really is the duck's nuts. You're about to hit the frog and toe, aren't you? Yep. Okay. Yep. Can you just grab me something else so I can finish this? It's not quite finished. There you go. You're a galah. I, I need plants. I don't need a corking gun. Oh, I'll bugger off then. I'll, I'll bugger <laughs> off. Go to the dog and bone. That's how you use it. No, no, no. You're the Australian. You should know this. I don't this. say these I things. Don't, don't say it too often. <laughs> We also like to thank all of the people who came here throughout the weekend. It was great meeting you all. It was so much fun hanging out. And finally, we want to thank our incredible employees who worked so hard throughout this grand opening weekend. It was insane. The zoo was busy and the store was busy all weekend. Not only did they help us run a zoo, they took care of everything in the store for us throughout the weekend. Yeah, it seemed to be busier in there than it was in here. So Yeah, it really did seem like that. Where are you going? She just likes to be behind your Aww, hair. Aw, she's adorable. She's like, aw. Are you glad yep. that grand opening is over? You did so well. You're such a good lychee. Well, anyway, we're exhausted. I'm kind of rambling because I want to make sure I thank everybody because... I told you she was going to jump. Really? <laughs> Well, you She's can like, look, look at, at this big cage. I could move in there. Yeah. Some of you have been asking if our facility updates will stop when our zoo is open. And I think we'll at least have one more because there's still some enclosures here to finish. And a couple things like a misting system we still have to install. So we'll be covering that in, I think, probably the final update. And then after that, we plan on doing behind the scenes like shenanigans at Snake Discovery to replace the facility update construction type videos. So we'll have something similar that we will be transitioning to after the facility updates and I think you'll enjoy it. So anyway, thank you so much everybody and we'll see you next time.